Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SA Accounting Academy. Uh, here's a short clip on one of our previous webinars. I hope that you really do enjoy it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to our Popia series webinar for this month. Actually, for the previous month, I apologize for the fact that we're having this one in, uh, in November. We are actually combining two of them together which is steps three and four. Well, basically because they belong together and because I was hospitalized for the last month. So I was unable to do it last month. Apologies for that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just quickly um, see if everybody can hear me clearly. If you can hear me clearly, please raise your hand or just send through a, a yes, you can hear me. Thank you, Cheryl, I'm definitely feeling better. By the grace of God, all the organs are working again. Never in my life want to go through dialysis again, I'll tell you that much. Great. Okay, so you can hear me all. Wonderful. Okay. Good. So we have a, a new guest presenter for you today. You'll remember that we normally have Karabo as the guest presenter. Today we've got very fortunate to have um, her CEO that's going to be joining us for the guest presentation. So let's quickly start. Okay, and I can see all of your chats. Brilliant. So a warm welcome on behalf of the South African Accounting Academy. Let's just quickly have a look at the name for the webinar. We are inside our Popia webinar series. Remember, we have 12 steps. And these are steps three and four. Steps one and two, and then we had the general one. Steps one and two was all about the Poppier checklist. Right. The Poppier checklist, which basically sets out the, all the steps that we need to follow to get Poppier compliant by next year, which is the deadline date. So on today, on today's webinar, you'll see at the bottom of your screen there it says, protection and recovery of data. Those are the main steps three and steps four of the webinar series. So because they go together, we will deal with them together today. It's not, I almost want to say it's not rocket science, but it's IT science. And it's definitely an area of specialism that we don't have. Yes, we know how to back up and we know how to try and protect our data better. But are we really doing the best job? And are we doing so in line with Popia? So you know about all the, all the questions that we have asked in the past. And remember that we've got um, the summaries of the previous Q&A sessions at our fingertips. I've summarized everything. My answers are in there, Carabo's answers are in there, and we have made it available to you on your profiles of the previous webinars. If you have not, I will ask that we upload it to your profiles today as well, so that you can still see the summaries from the previous webinars, because I think it's important. All the questions that we're going to have today and the questions that you'll have during Elmar's presentation I will be summarizing onto a document for you as well. Right. So I'll be summarizing that onto a document so that we don't miss anything and we can actually answer all your questions. I think it's, it's very important that we do that. All right. So as luck would have it, let's get started. There's my little biopic. Now I think you guys are all sick of my, my face by now. That's who I am and what I do and what not. I'm a professional trainer and webinar host, talking way too much to be a, a typical CA, but mainly responsible for the monthly compliance and legislation updates. As you know, that's my, that's my area of interest, trying to keep us all up to date with all the legislative changes that we need to be worrying about in our profession. On the next slide, we're just going to quickly look at what's on the agenda for today. We won't be busy for the full two hours, but I'm going to start off with a recap just to see where did we end off with the previous webinar in the series, and then our guest presentation will take place on the protection and recovery of data. 
All right. A little bit about Montana Data Company as well. All right. So we're looking forward to that one today. Where I normally have my quote, I normally, I, today I have a cartoon. And I said there, there's nothing funny about not being prepared. So the little man says to his friend, his IT friend there, I notice in your disaster prevention plan, the recovery objective time is whenever. And I don't think we can afford to be that blasé. You can't just go and say, you know what? I'll go through data recovery whenever. You need to have a plan in place. What happens? Who do you call? What do you do? Are there steps in place? I think we all realize now just exactly how much data we are privy to and the amount of confidential data that we are privy to and the, the responsibility that we've got to, number one, protect it, and number two, when something happens, how do we recover it? Because that's what the most important thing is. Right. So we're going to be looking at that in detail. In terms of the, the recap that I'm going to be looking at quickly, remember that we also included the basics of, of Popia. And I included a summary for you in your previous webinar material where we looked at all of these items. So if you are not in possession of the webinar material that contains this summary, please contact SAAA to obtain your copy. All right. Just send an email at the end um, and ask them to send you this because we've definitely got it. And if you attended the previous webinars in the series, you would have received it. We're not going to include it every month. All right, because it gets confusing and it takes up additional space. So I've already given you the summary. Remember that we still, I mean, I still am, am not okay with all the basics of Popia and G GDPR and talking about the um, all the terminologies and stuff. Right. But very important, we must be okay with it by next year, by June. Okay. So that's where we... That's what we already gave to you. Where did we end last time? Remember, we had the Poppia compliance checklist, the high level one, with the 11 steps. And we had steps one and two in detail in our one webinar. And last time, Karabo took us through steps three to 11 of the Poppia compliance checklist. So we are now done with a Poppia compliance checklist. You should be able to have it in a working format adding in your columns that you need to as and when you need to so that you can you can basically take it from there. All right. So that's very important. That's where we ended off last time. Where are we today? Today in my book, we deal with the two most important aspects that relate to Poppia. The most practical aspects. And those two are protection and recovery of data. That's what we need to worry about. We, we cannot possibly be so facetious and comfortable in saying, Ugh, it'll never happen to me. I think we've all seen that with COVID, there are no favorites and there's no warning. There's absolutely no typical person that it attacks. And the same goes with your, with your protection of your data. I mean, whose who's information gets hacked? When FNB got hacked, when, when the big corporates get hacked and your information is in there, what happened? It's not like they were targeting you specifically. They experienced a data breach and that was it. So data breaches don't discriminate. So that's important. That's why we need to make sure that we at least do the basics from our side to protect and recover. And you know what? You don't, you don't need to recover everything from, from your side. You don't need to be the specialist. I certainly am not. 
in in terms of of the things that I'm going to to recover and protect, I I want to be using an expert for that matter. I hope that you enjoyed that video. For more of our webinar videos, go to www.accountingacademy.co.za. Thank you and have a lovely day.